For those of you who are familiar with the Generations 1 um, Transformers Optimus Prime, the complete set. And this is the look of the truck cab only magnified five times maybe. So, oh wow, so really a lot of detail on this truck mode. This is a non-transforming toy of course because I'm going to pair this truck mode with my MP10 trailer. So I won't uh, be bothered um, in transforming my MP10 Optimus Prime. So this uh, truck mode is going to be paired with the trailer and the Optimus Prime and this, rod, uh, this hot rod figure would be displayed as one piece. So as for the uh, representation of my 1986 uh, Transformers the movie. So let's talk about dimension. As for length, when I say length, it's going to be a bumper, front bumper, two back bumper. So that's nine inches. As for width, from left headlamp to right headlamp, that's 3.5 inches. As to height, from the top of the cab to the base of the wheel that's 3.75 inches if you're going to um, ask for the height of the smoke from the smokestacks measured from the smokestacks to the base of the wheel that's 5 inches so this hot rod figure is a 5 inch figure so just proper um, orientation or ratio with regards to the display that I want to impress so just a quick review of the just the truck itself um, so I'm going to tell you which um, parts are vulnerable and which parts are die cast and etc so majority of the cab the red piece of the cab that's really die cast so the cab is all die cast as the wheels would all as expected that's rubber and all of the chrome parts that you are uh, seeing those would be all plastic so the back parts that are chrome that's plastic the gas tanks are plastic the wheel rims are also plastic just the cab area is a die cast metal um, as always expected always impresses me when we turn the cab over that we have dual tires for the rear portion of the um, cab of the truck i mean and we have a uh, semi uh, figure there of um, Optimus Prime with the Autobot logo. So really, really impressive um, piece. So most vulnerable parts, um, if you're going to handle this, of course, would be all of those things that you are looking at that are really, really shiny. So if you want to avoid um, breaking these little pieces, especially the um, side mirrors, those are the most vulnerable parts, and the smokestacks, those are just plastic. So here we have the MP10 Optimus Prime figure with the Jada Toys um, track mode of Optimus Prime. So the 1986 um, representation of the truck mode of this um, figure. So as expected, I already measured the front of the chest of the MP10 Optimus Prime and it's three inches. The um, measurement of the front of the cub of the figure just to uh, satisfy my curiosity, that's three point 
five so really not far off so as expected they really look good together so I expect that this would really be ooh, nice looking with the uh, trailer so this is my idea of um, pairing this truck with this figure so as you could see um, the dimensions are not far off with the MP10 Optimus Prime and just to complete the um, image uh, just um, place your Jinxie boy over here Hot Rod so yep so that's Hot Rod that's the size of Hot Rod so um, Optimus Prime is really the big boy of the Autobot gang here is the Jada Toys um, Optimus Prime truck the 86 truck paired with the MP10 trailer and we also of course have the MP10 Optimus Prime and the Transformers Studio Series just the recent release of Hot Rod um, just a quick note if you didn't buy this figure you're missing a lot and if you're a 86 uh, Transformers 86 movie fan you gotta have this figure if you have this set so really nice uh, configuration I like that the dimensions are just a nice proper fit however just um, little differences in the sizing of the tires but overall I'm really um, satisfied with my um, complete set so I don't have to transformed and scratch this uh, beautiful Optimus Prime MP10 mold I could retain him in robot mode and enjoy this beautiful truck set just the way it is right now I think I still have to configure um, how the, tra uh, the trailer connects to the uh, truck because right now this uh, connection is of course different and it won't fit the trailer hitch but I already made um, measurements so I just need to um, take this piece of maybe um, unscrew the back portion of the cab to expose how this um, this hitch is connected and move it backwards so I could put the mp10 trailer hitch this part over here on this portion of the uh, of the truck so this part I just have to move this portion the actual hitch to the over here and just widen that um, gap a little bit to allow for um, that uh, that hitch system this hitch system to go into the slot so I already measured it so just um, a few centimeters of uh, filing and it's good to go my display is perfect so ooh, what a really good afternoon a day off this uh, truck mode arrived and I could finally enjoy this beautiful display and I have roller and spike too so this completes my set and I don't have to worry about scratching my MP10 that I have to transform him every time I have I need to um, satisfy my whim of having a truck with this trailer so I with the Jada toys problem solved so if you like this review like comment and subscribe